Hi guys, I promised you a video about my legs and they're both mine. They're not any fake legs. I have not amputated any limb from my body. But the story that I'm going to tell you happened when I... Hold on. I know I need glasses, but they're glaring. The story that I am about to tell you happened when I was 15 years old. It was a summer time and every 15 year old girl and boy have a, a moped and I was so hyped because I passed the test I didn't think I would pass it seriously and I took my moped to the bigger community the community of here and it was so cool I felt sort of adultish I took a step further to the adulthood but uh, that same night, it was the Friday night, I went through an accident with my moped and got hit by a car. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I tumbled and the person behind me also tumbled and the car got really wrecked. My left heel got splintered into six pieces and my right leg got broken in three four places and my foot, my right foot got broken in two places. I was near to lose my right leg when I was 15. It was a god, it was a miracle that they was able to fix my leg. But the other people that was con included in the accident, they survived, they didn't get any major damages, it was me only. Which was good, but still it was terrible. Because my whole summer, I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't walk, I wasn't allowed to walk. I was just allowed to lie straight in a bed. Because it hurts. It hurts. Mm, it was painful as... You have no idea. And I had to take pain medication. And I had to be able to learn how to walk again. Because my muscles were teeny tiny strings or whatever there. It was, it was a mess. I had to learn everything again. Learn how to walk and to be stable on my two feet. My left foot healed really quick because all these pieces that my heel was broken into were in the right place so it just had to stitch itself up again. While my leg, the one of the bones lie like that. So I had to heal according to that piece. So I had a big bump on my leg and it hurt every day and it itched. Have you ever broken a leg and felt the itchiness in the leg? Oh, but that wasn't all. I had wounds, I had bruises. I had a bruise under my foot, under my left foot. But I got home four weeks after that. And eight weeks after the accident, I could walk on my left foot. And it was a terrible, it was terrible because I had, I could not stable on my right foot as well as the left. And I had an iron bar. It looked like a prison on my leg that I could twitch by pulling the muscle in my leg. It looked terrible and you can almost see into the freaking leg. It was... Bleh. I started my senior year in junior high school. My ninth year. Um, there, there, there we have it. My ninth year. And uh, by that, everybody looked at me because I was, I was in a wheelchair, I was jumping on crutches, and yeah, it was a mess. But nobody picked on me, nobody tried to bully me because I did that, because they realized I was... I survived death again. For you who know me, I've been through near two near death experience. I will tell the other one in a video somewhere somewhere 
somewhat later. Not now. This story about my legs. But that wasn't the end. Everybody thought it was the end of my experience of being near death and breaking legs and everything. No, freaking no. It took me almost two years to recover. And I started arm wrestling at my first year at high school. It was my sophomore year? Or, I don't know, the first year in high school. My tenth year. And uh, it was good. I got really good at it. It was fun and I tried my best to recover. And by the springtime, they said, well, we're gonna pull out the bar you have around your leg and put a bar inside your leg. So you don't have to have the bump on the leg. Your leg will be, the bone will be like that, but you have an iron bar with screws attached. And I had to walk on crutches again. That was the second time I had to walk on crutches. But it was fine. I was healing. I was gaining my way towards to being a healthy person with healthy legs, somewhat. But near the end of my first year in high school, I broke my leg again. The same leg, my right leg, I broke that again. By jumping in sand. You know when you walk, when Olympics, when you run and you jump in sand? I did that my, in my last two weeks at school. And I broke the left leg, my right leg. And I remember still how pale my fellow armless, arm wrestling buddies were when they heard the crack. It was terrible. But I jumped three meters. That was a good thing. It was the longest I ever jumped. But I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up. So I had to revisit re the hospital again, stay there for maybe a week, and then go to school with crotches and a cast. I had cast again. I've had cast a lot, as you can hear. You change cast a lot, uh, a lot when you have because bacteria is forming inside the cast, and. <sighs> I had it this time over my knee because it was it was my leg was broken just under my knee. So preventing it would break again, they put a cast over my knee. So I couldn't bend my leg and it was itching like hell. And I had to go through a summer again with the pain, the medication, the treatment. <sighs> no, no, no. So I asked my doctors, because that happened, to remove the iron plate that was in my leg. It was not, you should not be able to have to have those kind of things. But that was after my leg got healed again. And I asked them, please remove it. It was three reasons why. One, it hurt when I walked a long distance. Two. I could not get a tattoo and I was 17. I had never had experience. And three, why should I have one when I don't need one? Just asking. So they removed it when I was 18 and a half. This next summer, they removed that thing and I had to walk in crutches yet again. That's the, what, third or fourth time I have to watch, walk in crutches. Yes, I had to remove the cast and then I have to have some kind of rubbery thing so to stabilize my leg while I was walking on crutches and trying to walk on my leg yet again. And then the summer after that I had to do the same shit over again. Get that plate away from my leg, getting that rubber thing over my leg. It was hot, it almost burned, it felt like it burned the skin off my leg. 
and walk again on crutches. But it took less time that time to regain the strength in my legs, which was good. Then I just had to limp for maybe uh, two or three months. I still limp, yet today, and I'm 23, and that happened when I was 18 and a half. I'm never gonna get well. I'm still gonna have pain every single day in the leg. It's still gonna itch in the bones. I'm still not able to balance on my right leg. I can't stand a long time and I can't walk a great distance. It's a miracle I can walk to the other the community in less than 45 minutes without feeling the pain. Well, sometimes I do feel the pain and other times I don't feel the pain. But I don't have to take medication. So, if you have any questions about this kind of story that I have, comment down below and I will answer. And if you, <laughs> if you like this kind of story time video, then thumbs up and I will do more. And if you want to see more about me, my videos and stuff, subscribe. That will be really great. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next week. Love and magic to you all. Bye bye. And stay healthy. Don't try and do the same thing that I did. Okay? <laughs> great.